Hello guys, what's up? Welcome to this new video. In this video, we are going to see what is hibernating an EC2 instance. What it is, very important topic. And let's deep dive into this. So what is this hibernation means? Okay. So first of all, uh, I'll tell you that why uh, animals and uh, uh, like animals like uh, rats, squirrel, these are all going to hibernation when lot of snow is there. Okay. In winters, lot of uh, animals are going to hibernate ants. Okay. These are the things. So what they will do, they will go on for some time and resume back to its state. Okay. They have resting for whole winters because for the hibernation, they have all the food available in their uh, nest. Okay. So what they will do in hibernation, they will go to their uh, spot and hibernate themselves. And when winter is gone, they resume back. Okay. And do the same process. Okay. Similar way in the similar way, if you have an EC2 instance up and running and OS operating system is up and running, you need not to, uh, you know, restart the full process again and again. You can do one thing, you can uh, enhance hibernate, hibernate an instance. You can uh, enable this thing, enable this service. And what you can do whenever you make the hibernation of that instance, okay, you can resume back to the same state that you have been hibernated. Uh, mark this point state. Okay, what is this state means? Because Whenever you hibernate a state, okay, whenever you hibernate a state, it is resumed back to its original, like the same OS, there is no restart. Okay, there is no restart. Normally, what you can do in your laptop, you uh, just perform some operation, shut down, okay. And when uh, in the next day, you resume back to the work. So the whole loading process, the booting system, it is very time consuming. We don't want that. What we need to do, we just hibernate and in the next morning, we want the same operating system. Again, take an example. Okay. The, uh, uh, this is an example for those who are working professionals. So you are having a morning eight to five job. Okay. And you have a virtual device. You can say VDI, which we say, okay. So for uh, eight to five, what happen is your uh, operating system, the VDI, okay, virtual device interface that uh, or your company device is active and running. Okay, whenever you connected to a cloud, okay, whenever you connected to a cloud, this VDI is connected to a cloud and where you are doing your company's project. Okay, now after five and the morning eight a.m. Okay this VDI or this server is hibernated. You see, you see this thing is hibernated. It is not shut down. It is not booting up. It will resume back to its original state whenever you needed it. Okay. So this process is known as hibernation. I've shown you the example. Okay. Very important for your interview perspective and uh, we'll see the next. Hibernate save the content from the RAM to EBS volume. Okay. So your RAM running state of the RAM. Okay. The whole process is going to hibernate it into your EBS volume. EBS root volume is restored to its previous state. Okay. Whenever you click the button start, it has resumed back to the previous state. The RAM contents are reloaded. Okay. The process that were previously running on the instances are resumed back to the original. Okay. Previously attached data volumes are reattached and the instance retained to its instance ID. Very simple. Okay. Now let's try to understand this process uh, with the diagram. Okay. So first and the most important thing, your EBS volume should be encrypted. Very important. Okay. We'll see in the lab section. Uh, okay. In this video, but your EBS volume should be encrypted first. Okay. Okay. So running, okay. Your EBS volume, uh, you can say EC2 instances are active and running. 
okay now you stop and hibernate this instance so what you do uh, you just click on the hibernation process so your active ram is going to the ebs volume okay ebs volume that has been attached with the ec2 instance okay so whenever it shut down it is going to this volume part okay now whenever you start so what happened is this ebs volume is going to the ec2 instance and it is up and running no loading time no booting time is needed you just resume back to the previous content that you are doing okay very important thing okay so i hope uh, you get an idea now uh, we'll see the whole process in the lab okay actively how to hibernate these things so we are in this uh, lab and let's uh, you know start this uh, ec2 instance so i'm here in this uh, dashboard okay let's launch our ec2 instance okay very easy guys uh, if you you know follow these steps you will able to get you know uh, straight into the company whatever your dream company is if you want to learn okay just follow the process okay you can say that test hyper net okay you just click on this we can assign a key value pair test that we have given okay or you can create it also good uh, we access these security groups let's assign a subnet okay good everything is up and running one thing i told you your volume should be encrypted okay just go to the advanced settings just go to this volume section and click on this encryption it should be encrypted and kms keys you just need to give it default okay this process you need to understand okay just go to advanced settings advanced details okay just go down and here you can see stop hibernate behavior okay you just need to enable this thing and uh, there is a message that you need to understand to uh, uh, enable hibernation space allocated okay first thing your root volume should be uh, stored the ram okay and uh, the root volume should be more than the ram okay if your ram is 1 gb your uh, ebs volume should be at least 8 or 9 gb means it is should be greater than 1 gb it is mean to say okay okay so the os uh, application to use hibernation root volume must be encrypted second point is it should be encrypted two points have been cleared first your ebs volume should be greater and it should be encrypted okay so i think uh, we are good to go just click on this launch instance and we are good to go okay just wait for some time and it is uh, launching our instance so we will see uh, our instances so you can see our test hibernate okay so let's wait for this to make running and active okay just wait for the time okay so our test hibernate is up and running okay just need to connect with this okay and let's see like what is the uptime of this instance okay how long it is running up and active okay just wait for some time to establish a connection so our uh, uh, application is connected with the console so let's check the uptime of this instance you can see the uptime is zero minute let's wait for some time and make sure that this uptime is having some value like one minute or so okay just wait for some time okay just click on this uptime and wait for you can see one minute so now if we hibernate this process okay the result and again then we start and connect it the start time should not start from zero it should start from some value okay because we have hibernate this process we don't want this to be get resumed back okay so what we will do just click on this cross just go to this instance 
and here you can see instance and you can see hibernate instance okay just click on this hibernate click on this hibernate okay just click on this instances and you can see it is stopping okay just wait for the time it has been uh, stopped fully okay so you can see it has been stopped fully okay just click on this and uh, we just start this instance okay you can see this is up and running so wait for the time it has been uh, running because uh, only then we can able to connect this so guys you can see it is uh, up and running so just click on this and connect and you can see just click on this connect okay so it is uh, establishing a connection so guys what is the result either it is zero minute or a some value like three to four minutes let's check out okay so it has been connected so the uptime is three minutes it's not zero minutes because our operating system has been hibernated okay our ec2 instance whatever it is in the ram it has been hibernated very important point very important use case you should try it out okay so one use case i'll tell you you should do one thing just go start and stop without hibernation start and stop an instance and see the uptime and uh, again hibernate a process hibernate an instance and then see the start and stop time you will see the difference between the two okay just try it out these activities okay we'll see you in the next happy learning guys